Hello and welcome to another forum code called presentation. Today in this presentation we are going to see what are code snippets and this video is to be presented to you by Goku James. So code snippets are those IntelliSense feature which was introduced in the Visual Studio. This feature came into existence with uh, Visual Studio 2005. Code snippets makes a programmer's life a more easier. So let's just begin right into the Visual Studio 2008 development environment and make a code snippet. Today we're going to make a code snippet for the console.readLine method and uh, the, the reason behind choosing this is that I found that there was a code snippet for the console.writeLine method but there wasn't for readLine. So let's just dig in into the Visual Studio 2008 environment and start making a code snippet. I'll be explaining you each and everything detail. To get a hold of what are code snippets, I have opened a class. This is my class, my class inside Visual Studio 2008. I have it under a namespace called IntelliSense Notes. Now, as soon as you start typing, you would see this. These are something called as IntelliSense. IntelliSense also are a kind of a code snippet, but code snippets are completely different. So in order to view what are the code snippets installed with your Visual Studio environment, hold the control key, hit the K and X. So these are the code snippets which are installed with my IDE. So the custom code snippets that you actually make are under the My Code Snippets folder and for the Visual C Sharp we have a folder. You need to tap enter to get into the folder. Now as you see these are actually code snippets. The code snippet will have a shortcut as well as a title as well as a description. Now I would just like to explain you how easy it is to use a code snippet rather than IntelliSense. Hit the escape key to escape out of the code snippet dialog. So think of like uh, I'm creating a class using IntelliSense. So what you would do is type class, then you type in your name like the class name code call. So this is the rough structure of a class. We we'll have the class keyword, the class name and these surrounding tags. Now just see how easy it would be to make this using a code snippet. To type in the class, code snippets have that a sticky kind of notepad like thing icon. Now quickly hit the tab tab key. So class tab tab. As you see it's already spit out the whole surrounding tags and next we have the class name. So let's do it once more. Type in the class, hit the tab tab key. Now you need to name your class like code call hit the enter key to get inside the braces. So we're just going to make another code snippet like those but for console dot uh, read line method because for the console dot write line you need to type CW that's the shortcut hit the tab tab key you see the console dot write line has come up all you need to do is put in the double quotes type your string hide all code call members. So we're going to make something like that. Code snippets are actually XML files which have a declarative syntax. Now we're going to see how to create a code snippet. First go to the file menu, click on a new file
click on an XML file and click open and just close off this now the code snippets are actually case sensitive so it does make a difference between a capital C and a small one so how do you start a code snippet is hit the greater than key a capital C C O D E the small letters then type S in caps S I P P T that's C and S in caps it's snippets not snippet next we have the XML INS property we need to set that to code snippets of Visual Studio 2005 here here you see hit the enter key now close the tag now if you had done right if you open the tag you would have something new over here so I'll just show you how it does make a difference between a capital C and a small one now see that I make all of them in small letters I type in the XMLNS property go to the Visual Studio Code snippet tap the NK key now as you see I don't have the code snippet tag actually so it does make a difference between a capital and a small c now coming to the code so open the code hit the code snippet close the code snippet so in between these two XML tags is what you have the whole declaration of a code snippet again open the code you need to have a header header contains information of who's the author and other extra metadata so first let's put the author information let's go to James for forum code call a description about your code snippet mine would be a code snippet for the console dot read line method so I would write code snippet for console read line method and next is a very important tag you need to have this tag in order for the code snippets to work and you, you need to have a shortcut see that no other code snippets have the same shortcut mine would be CR in small letters next we can have something called the title this information will be will be actually used by the code snippets manager go to the title close the title here the console read line method come out of the header tag, open the tag, hit the snippet now go to the code tag you need to set the language to either Visual Basic, C Sharp, XML or J Sharp I will be using C Sharp close the tag so inside these two code tags are what the actual code which will be written into the Visual Studio IDE so open the tag this is a C data section this is where the actual code goes in which has to be spit out into the IDE so hit the tab key now this is the actual place you see in the blue color highlighted thing this is where you actually write your code somewhere. you need to write it correctly but so the console.readline has a capital C 